Hey there, YouTube world, welcome back to another totally epic and totally hilarious story time with yours truly. Now, buckle up, because today I've got a tale about a dozy photographer all the way from Germany shooting with the British Army. That's right, we're taking you on a, an adventure into the world of live firing scenarios, long exposures, and a, a whole boo ha ha unintended, that is, that, uh, that came about. So grab yourself uh, some popcorn and get ready to laugh or cry because uh, this story you're not going to believe. All right, picture this. Uh, Mr. Flash goes off to Germany on a noble mission to capture some seriously badass warrior armoured vehicles in a live firing scenario. And let me tell you, Mr. Flash had got some big plans. Yeah, he wanted to nail that perfect shot of the tracer of the shells, you know, uh, creating mind-blowing night effects, all the yellow and oranges in the dark. I mean, who needs Photoshop, am I right? So. Off he goes uh, to the range. Uh, in the wee hours of the night, the stage is set. The warriors are all lined up. The guns are all pointed. And our fearless photographer is ready to work his magic. And that's when the order to fire is given by the commanding officer. And all hell breaks loose, my friends. We're talking ear-splitting noise. The whole shebang. But wait, <laughs> it gets better. Mr. Flash here. Yeah, he's on uh, the struggle bus because back in those days, uh, you know, they weren't messing around with fancy screens and Photoshop wizardry. None of that. No, 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 no. We were shooting transparency. And let me tell you, there was zero room for error when you're shooting on slide film. Uh, this dude had got to trust his gut instinct and nail that exposure like a boss. Talk about pressure. Am I right? So, he's firing off shots in the bulb setting, thinking he's the next Ansel Adams. All the while, the camera doesn't even have a screen for him to check the exposures. But hey, he's feeling pretty good about his work. He thinks he's guessed it right, until he starts second-guessing himself and starts thinking, wait a minute, um, those the silhouettes of the warrior vehicles, uh, what if they need a little extra oomph? What if we can't really make out enough? What if the silhouettes aren't right? So he decides to whip out his trusty Metz flash gun and add a little pizzazz to those warrior vehicles. A little bit of detail, not too much, you know. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So he opens the shutter, he fires the flash, and then silence. You could practically hear the tumbleweed blowing across the range. What had happened? Why the sudden stop? But wait. That's not the punchline, my friends, because from one of the vehicles, a very, very angry soldier pops out the top and shouts, Oh, my, my, who, who is the gentleman who took a photo using flash? Or words to that effect. <laughs> that, my friends, is when the hilarious truth became clear. You see, dear Mr. Flash failed to take into consideration one tiny itsy-bitsy detail. Those gunners inside the vehicles, yeah, they were rocking some fancy night vision goggles. Goggles that amplified every little bit of light so they could see their targets. And can you guess what happened when Mr. Flash unleashed his Mets? <laughs> yeah, you guessed it. He accidentally disabled an entire battalion with one quick flick of the shutter. And that, my friends, is how Mr. Flash became the unwitting hero of the day, as the Gunners, still seeing stars by this time, enjoyed a beer on his tab back in the mess. <laughs> I bet there was some uh, uproarious laughter after he'd gone. Hmm, go on, you can't make this stuff up, can you? So there you have it, folks. A tale of bravery, blunders, and a whole lot of Flash-induced chaos. If you enjoyed the roller coaster of a story, don't forget to uh, hit the like and subscribe. It makes a big difference to me and the channel. Uh, or hit the notification bell uh, if you want to hear about more epic adventures and fails on my part. Oh, and <laughs> I'm guessing you might like to see one of the images I took on that fateful night before I took out an entire battalion of tanks with my flash gun. So, until next time, stay flashing, my friends, 
And if you would like to hear a couple of professional photographers talk a little bit more about things they got completely wrong, try this video here.